In the fall of 1918, a wave of Spanish influenza swept over Canada, attacking Wilhelm Hepting, a boy on a German Lutheran farm in Manitoba, Canada, causing him to become ill with double pneumonia. For 20 days, the town doctor came to their home. On the final day, as the doctor was leaving, he gave young Wilhelm no more than 20 minutes to live. In a final effort of desperation, his father poured a teaspoon of kerosene oil down Wilhelm's throat to clear his lungs and normalize his breathing. Somehow, the remedy worked, and though sickly and weighing below 85 pounds, Wilhelm recovered. While ill, Wilhelm made a secret pact in exchange for a full recovery. Coming from a strongly religious German Lutheran community, Wilhelm promised himself to God that if he was graced with a full recovery, he would devote his life to a religious calling, and, as he would say, preferably through ministry. This pact remained essentially his personal secret until 1922, when a pastor from Edmonton, Alberta, named Schwartzman, visited the local parish one Sunday and preached the need for ministers. That day, Wilhelm Hepting and his cousin Henry Fry made an agreement to both become pastors. After some deliberation with their families and the local pastor, it was agreed the boys, at that point 19 and 20 years old, would travel south of the border to St. Paul, Minnesota to attend Concordia College. After one train and one cab ride, the two cousins were in St. Paul. A diary from his school year of 1928 reveals that Wilhelm's migration was driven by a sense of vocation and religious belief. Many of the entries speak about his training and ventures toward different religious functions. Sports and physical activity also dominated his writings and were connected with his emerging religiosity and beliefs. As he wrote in his remembrance of the athletics at Concordia, do not ruin your body through neglect of exercise, much less neglect your studies and overemphasize your athletics. Wilhelm Hepting was my great-grandfather through my father's mother. He eventually became a Lutheran minister, and both his immigration and his ministry marks an important part of my own family's, thus my own, history. This immigration story has greatly shaped my family's lives, as my grandmother, too, went into Lutheran ministry through teaching, and my father spent much of his life focused on sports and religion. But further, it illustrates to me how migrations and migration history have shaped and informed the lives of all Americans. The immigration decision and experiences of Wilhelm not only affected his life, but subsequently affected the location culture, and ideals that my family embraced. This is not only Wilhelm Hepting's immigration story, but also mine. And that is how my life was shaped by one teaspoon of kerosene oil.